Welcome to raigunkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about iterating over an array in NumPy Python programming language. So, if you have not yet subscribed this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with the basics of iterating over an array in NumPy and post that we'll discuss by using some example. NumPy package contains an iterator object that is numpy.nditer. It is an efficient multidimensional iterator object using which it is possible to iterate over an array. Each element of an array is visited using Python standard iterator interface. For calling this interface, we have to go with normal numpy programming concept and import the library as np you can give your your name as well don't have any issue then we have to declare an array name uh, that is creating an array using arrange method so here we are going to provide dot np dot arrange range then the value which we are looking to print it right now i'm giving here as a 14 but you can keep your own value as well so post that we are going to give a shape array with three rows and four columns but if you are looking to create more number of columns or more number of row you can add it then give here as a ar equal to ar dot reshape and in reshape you have to provide the rows and column value now we are here here we are using three four combination but let's print this and see the result how it looks so printing ar now if we want to modify array then we have to use it print modify array and then we we are using or iterating an array by using for loop for loop for x in np dot nd i t e r Iter er that is the array name and then print the x. Now let's run this and see the result. So here nd iter. Okay, here there is a colon, then see the result, print x, let's see this. Now in the reshape we are getting some error ER reshape. Here we are printing ER then for X in NB and the item. Let's change the value from because right now we are giving 14, but let's change this. So now you can see here we are looking to print 12 number in the array, but we have provided here 
14. If you can set it to 16, you will definitely get an result. 16 is also for 16 we have to give 4 comma 4 and then we'll definitely get an result so how this work in uh, numpy while iterating over an array the order of iteration is chosen to be match the memory layout of an array without considering a particular ordering this can be seen by iterating over the transpose of the this example so if we have modified this we can also write the other value as well so let's see we are we want to iterate the value and to the transpose of this data so for transposing we are we are going to declare here as a br equal to ar dot t that is transpose and print br then if for x in np dot and the iter then here we are giving as a value br and print x so let's remove this one or let's print first er now run the code so you can see here it is transposing the value and we are getting response in modified array is 0 to 11 this is how it looks or 0 to 15 because here we have provided 16 so if you are printing with 12 digit you will definitely get 0 to 11 so how will control iteration order so there are times when it is important to visit the elements of an array in a specific order irrespective of the layout of the elements in the memory the andy iter object provides an order parameter to control these aspects of iterations the default having the behavior described in this example in the order key to keep the existing order this can be overridden with order the old one and it will print with the photon order that is f so this is how it works so let's print for the order c where we'll get the some difference so for printing order c we have to change little bit so remove this one and print the modify C style order. In modify C style order, here we have to provide AR, then comma order equal to single quote C now let's print this value so if you can see here the C order is printed from 0 to 15 and the array style is also printed with 0 to 15 in the horizontal order but if you want to print for f order just have to change this and rest other value would be same so for f order you will get starting from 0 4 8 12 then 1 5 9 so modifying arrays for f order will get first even number then odd number and then rest of the data which we are looking for that's all about numpy iterating over an array hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider sharing in your circle 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग